did you do any like um I don't know I don't know like self finding at uni? Uh <laughs> living with the homies. <laughs> yeah, man, I think everyone everyone does that to an extent, right? Like uh you you don't really like well once once you like at home and I've I've regressed back into who I was like during like say months, but you, my mom like I wake up, breakfast is ready. I come back home from work, like dinner's ready. Like it's just I, I've I've never really had to do anything myself. Mm. I know this is like really, really like like it's kind of almost like a meme and like uh, Indian culture, like like brown boys they like they just take their like their mom is their life kind of thing. It's like let's be pretty funny to you, though. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, once I once I literally I just like turned to. I say, I, even then, like, my mom was just like, she'd get my brother to, like, drive food over to me mm. in Kent. And it's like, I, I, I never really, like, had to just be myself, that makes sense. Like, mm. in the sense, like, I never had to, like, like, just work to, like, put food on the table and shit like that. And I still kind of don't. So, like, in, in that sense, I was like, like having been, like everything been provided for me, like how am I ever going to provide for my like self or like my future family and so like that? So I just sat down and I was like, I'm actually an idiot. Like you, you've done shit like from like the age of six. <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> yeah, and so like all all, all of that shit. Like so basically, I had to think about how I'm useless and what I want to do. To fix that. Mm. Yeah, I know what you mean. I think for me, it's a bit, um, a bit different. Like my family circumstance, as you know, as you know, um, and for the guys that are listening, I've got four younger brothers, well, three younger brothers, so and a younger sister. Like as soon as I hit eighteen, mum's like, "All right, you're not a priority anymore. <laughs> you're on your own." <laughs> like I've got all these other these other kids to deal with. So as soon as I hit uni, it's like crap. You know, I learned to cook on day one, uh, working at Domino's, uh, doing all this other stuff. And like, contrary to that, I mean, it's great. I feel like I learned a lot about myself. But then, you know, as you know, as well, I ended up having to redo first year. Uh, academics kind of went on the back burner because I was focused a lot more on uh, what you can say, what you can call bigger things. Yeah. Like, would you say you had a, not necessarily an easier run, but uh, maybe a stress-free <laughs> three years at uni compared to like maybe people that you see around campus that may be dealing with like, always seem to be stressed about whatever the hell's going on. One hundred percent. Like, like my dad, um, he and my mom, they're not exactly like high end and working. So I get like the full maintenance, and because um, I'm the youngest, when I did run out of that, which was like incredibly hard to do, because I got like eight grand, and my rent, I always pick like, like really cheap places. Mm. So I'd, I'd have like like money to just burn basically. And when I ran out of that, somehow, like I, I have two older brothers, so they just like like top that off. So, I mean, I was obviously in a very, like, blessed position, but I, I kind of did take it for advantage. Like, yeah, I just take advantage of that one. Like, and so, I, I mean, I respect you for, like, doing what you're doing. Because, like, I don't know how you do it, man. <laughs> Neither. <laughs> <laughs> Neither. Nah, it's a grind. You need such a grind. And I feel like most people kind of, like, as you said before earlier as well, it's like, we kind of just do it for the sake of doing it. It's like, as far yeah, as you yeah. know, it's a right of passage. It's like, you know, I've got to get a degree in something to work in something. But people don't really know what they're getting themselves into. And even me, myself, I'm like, fuck, like, this is so difficult. <laughs> so much to do. Yeah. But like, I, I don't know, man. Like, see, this is why I was like, I think uni was easy. So obviously, I didn't have all of this to worry about. And then I still like, was like incredibly lazy with my approach to the degree itself. Mm. Yeah. And I, it, it, like that's why I'm be, I literally until I graduated I was like no, I'm a bum I need to fix this but uh, who else like who else do we know that's like actually struggling man? like uh, apart from you like oh Garrett Garrett was just like chill at home you know when he was like doing his reset year yeah I'd wake up in the morning go down here on his playstation yeah <laughs> I'd, go, I'd, I'd maybe go to uni for a couple of hours come back take a nap wake up still on his playstation like, he's having the time of his life. Yikes. <laughs> but not easy. He's, he's, he's tender around now. Like, you know, getting in a relationship does that to you. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> like that year, he was a bum. Got in a relationship. He like fixed up. Like got two on in his, his degree. Mm. Grew two inches. Uh, like going. <laughs> uh, like, <laughs> uh, on his suits to lectures. Like he's, he's a different man. <laughs> That's the thing. I feel like um. I guess I've had the opposite experience of, <laughs> of relationships, but there's so many guys I know and girls as well, to be fair. It's like, as soon as you get cuffed, suddenly it's like, you know what it is? Cause you've got to pay for dates and stuff. So now it's like, yeah. crap, now I've got to get my shit together. Wait, <laughs> right. you, you pay for dates? Back when I was, when I was dating. Yeah, no, what? What do you, what do you mean? You get, you get them to pay. It's like, Fiona earns more than me. <laughs> I've never paid for a date in my life. Oh dear! I'm telling you, man, I've had an easy life. 